Greetings to Madam Arinawati and all my fellow classmates. My name is Elisa Jawan, so today I will present on the introductions. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted negatively on the global economy. The movement control order that established to prevent the disease from spreading has affected small businesses in Malaysia. SME are also the most important contributor to our country's economic growth. The pandemic has very much affected small and medium enterprises SMEs since it's relied on a supply chain. SME play a vital role in elevating poverty by generating a large number of job opportunities, contributing to GDP growth and social cultural integrations. Sarawak currently has 62,000 SME operators and employ about 600,000 Sarawakian and contribute to more than 75% of the local business sectors and 20% of the Sarawak GDP. As a result of the pandemic, the Sarawak government has suggested that all government offices, business premises, and factory to stay closed except for important services and company premises. Hi, my name is Shana Jawai and I will talk about the challenges faced by the SME food industry in Sarawak during COVID-19. One of the challenges that have been faced by this, the SME in Sarawak during COVID-19 pandemic was that the small food business having a cash flow problem in their businesses. It was due to the shift online method in their business during the pandemic. They will need pay uh, extra attention and extra cost of arranging the delivery of the food to the customer. Hence, they had to raise the price of the food in order to survive. According to the one of the correspondent, shifting their business to the online method did not bring much profit to their business and many of the other entrepreneurs hoping a solution from the government to help them survive during the pandemic. Besides that, the price of the raw material for the food industry such as uh, chicken meat has increased. It was due to the shortage shortage of raw material and our country had imported a lot of foods and even importing the animal feed. According to the Chong Chien Cheng, the DFP Panungan, the total price of the food imported by Malaysia in 2020 was around 55 billion ringgit and the food imported value of Sarawak was around 4 billion ringgit to 5 billion ringgit. This has made the operating cost for the business had increased in which led to the increasing of selling price of the food. However, the food trader were allowed to increase the price of the food but must not making them having an excessive profit. The food trader must do the business ethically and must make sure that the customer must not be deceived during the COVID-19. Then, the food trader in Sarawak also facing a lack of professional promoter to promote their product through online. During COVID-19 pandemic, some of the food vendors started to sell and promote their product by, via social media such as Facebook and Instagram. This was in order to follow the standard operating procedure SOP that did not allow their customer to dine in but only allow takeaway and delivery. Therefore, a good promoter will make their product look attractive and able to gain a customer through their posting. However, they are facing a problem in having a good promoter in their businesses in which making their business become unknown, especially for the food operator that recently opening their businesses for the, before the COVID-19 started. Furthermore, the operating hour for the food trader and restaurant had reducing during the pandemic. This is because the standard operating procedure during conditional movement control order uh, CMCO had only allowed them to open their business but only on the time allocated by the government. For example, on 24 April 2020, Sarawak government making a decision to allow food trader to operate between 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. This has make this has given a great impact to the food trader in Sarawak as they only can open their business in the short period of time in one day. The profit for them also will be will be decreasing compared to the profit they gain before the COVID-19 pandemic. Lastly, the food traders such as the restaurant had lack of human, res human resources during their operating hours. A big restaurant usually need a lot of waiters and cookers in order to serve their customer. 
This was happening when Sarawak Disaster Management Committee, SDMC, decided to allow dine-in at the HRE started 15 July 2021. However, they need to follow the guideline and standard operating procedure SOP that has been stated. Based on the standard operating procedure, they only allow a restaurant operator to open their business if they had received the COVID-19 vaccine and also for the workers, they will be able to come to work if they had vaccinated or at least receiving a first dose of COVID-19 vaccine. Thank you. Hello, I am Lucy. Now I will present on implication. Firstly, SME performance in Sarawak during COVID-19. The pandemic of COVID-19 made the SME businesses in Sarawak suffer, especially during the Movement Control Order MCO. They need to shut down. SME shares in the food industry is one of the most affected. SME play a crucial role in Sarawak. Approximately 62,000 SME operators and around 43,000 registered over 10 years ago. SME also opened the job opportunities in Sarawak since they have contributed more than 75% of the local business and also the Sarawak gross domestic product by around 20%. This brings in uneven and divergent recovery across different sectors and industries. After almost two years of facing the COVID-19 pandemic, it might require the SME a longer time to recover their losses. Secondly, reduction in sales and profit. Since the pandemic of COVID-19, the government has introduced various kind of movement control orders. Due to all these kind of movement control orders, SMEs are unable to operate their business well. Thus, the demand for their products and services have been declined. Therefore, the SME operators are unable to earn their income. Other than that, not only the various kind of movement control order, the increasing price of raw materials also the reason SME suffered during the pandemic. During the pandemic, the prices of raw materials increased, making the SMEs facing problems to proceed the business. Thirdly, unemployment rate increased. SME in Sarawak provide approximately 600,000 jobs for Sarawakians. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, SME in Sarawak are unable to operate well which makes them get less income. According to Deputy Minister in Sarawak, Premier Department, Dato Garawat Gala, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected 4,037 people in Sarawak had lost their job. Hi, I am Manisha. Now, I will present the suggestion and recommendation to overcome the issue that has addressed by Rena. First of all, the recommendation to solve the issue of the rising price of raw material is improve bantuan khas Sarawakku Sayang 8.0. This initiative was announced by Dato Petinggi Tan Seri Abang Johari Abang Openg. This initiative is assistant for small trader, which is the one of cash assistant grant RM1000. Other than that, the government of Sarawak also give a discount on water and electricity bill, rental discount and more. However, small trader do not receive subsidy for raw material. Therefore, I recommend for the government of Sarawak to add the raw material subsidy. In the Bantuan Has Sarawak Kusayang 8.0 to help the small trader in the food industry, just as food court that has the problem to purchase the raw material. Next, the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, Industrial Terminal, and Entrepreneur Development has implemented a survey to identify issue on small and medium entrepreneur. During the COVID-19 pandemic, with this method, Mintred can come up with an action plan to help small and medium enterprise. Small and medium entrepreneurs were calling up to fill in a survey 
through the website or scan the QR code that was provided by the Ministry of Industry Development. This survey can be filled up by the different sector of industry, including the food industry. In conclusion, the COVID-19 pandemic has a large impact on the economy of the Malaysia, especially on the small and medium-sized enterprise sector. Hence, the work in this work assessment, the investigators shows an impact of COVID-19 pandemic toward the SME in Sarawak shows a very good example how pandemic can cause a negative impact on the economic and social activity. Therefore, COVID-19 pandemic in Sarawak has caused the SME cash flow to be have facing problems, increasing in the raw material and also re reducing operating hours. Hence, this issue has resulted in the sales and profit revenue drop unemployment rate increase and also SME low performance. Therefore, an issue requires a solution to resolve the problem. It is the duty for every citizens and governments in Malaysia to find a creative idea on how to overcome and combating this COVID-19 pandemic in the SME sector. This collaboration is important for both citizens and the government as they should play their roles in finding the ways and solutions to enable the affected business of the SME to operate normal with the existence of the virus. Hence, it will slowly recover on the Malaysian economic sector, especially on the endemic stages. Plus, every action in contributed in the boost of the SME business will contribute for the betterment of the future SME owner to operate the business normally and also to be prepared and to face any of the economic problems together.